so nice to have everybody so enthusiastic about the classes. So it's given me a little lift, which is wonderful, and seeing the grandchildren online and doing a kindergarten class. So that's all fabulous. Okay, so let's think positive thoughts. And here I've made a little palette. For those of you who don't have a palette or anything to put on, it's just a plate, Ikea plate. I'll put some Glad Wrap over it so that when it dries off, you just get rid of the Glad Wrap and you've got your little palette. So I'm going to put on a little bit of blue. Now this is phthalo blue, which is deadly stuff because it actually doesn't, um, it gets, it's insidious. My, my brush has gone hard because I did gluing with it. So I'm just going to get a touch of blue, a really little touch of phthalo blue because as I say, it's insidious and you put a lot of white. So I've got phthalo blue and I've got white. And because I'm really bad, I always put a dirty brush in the white. So I'm gonna make up a really, see hardly any phthalo blue and it's just gorgeous. So it's really light. White is your favorite thing and you always need huge amounts of white. Okay, so what I've done is, I'm gonna put that aside just for a minute. And so what I've done is, when I got back from the beach yesterday, it was a bit, wasn't defined. So I had the charcoal, which I've, I've got some uh, rocks and everything like that. And then I've come in with oil pastel. Now the oil pastel, I love this. So if you, we're gonna keep it neutral because once you put bright colors in, it makes it really awkward and you don't have happiness. So that's an oil pastel, Sennelia, very, very yummy. And I've got the big, beautiful one, oil pastel, right? So an oil stick. So in which case, what happens is they will resist like the candle and they also give you these lovely lines. So I've come in and with the red, uh, con uh, red oil pastel or oil, oil stick, the brown, I've just drawn some more trees. Now, if you love something, don't put it everywhere. Don't whack it everywhere, just don't do it, okay? So I've just put in some lines for other trees, put in some shadows, put in some dark, and so what I've done is I've gone along on, the, on this area here, right along, shapes, darks, and different, um, different mark making. So if I just pick this up here and show you how lovely, much more interesting it is, okay? So now what I'm going to do is with Thello Blue. Now, we, want it, we can create a nice horizon line. So what I'm gonna do is just with the, isn't that beautiful? With the Thello Blue and White, I'm just gonna come in here. Now, don't stop it at the lines of the trees. Just do a little bit, see how strong that Thello Blue is. And I'm just not gonna do it all over. I'm going to just do it a little bit. It's all about, this is all my tricks, you see. I sell these and I don't want you guys selling them instead of me, but anyway, who cares? Uh, so I'm going to just do that in a section and carry that across and then I'm going to come in with another colour oil pastel or another shade. So I'll do that and then come back. Okay, so I've just done the blue paint, which is a phthalo blue, spelled P-T-H-A-L-O. And now I've got a little tiny, little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of blue, which is my favorite, uh, light blue. It's called something delicious, like I have no idea. Um, and that's an oil pastel. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to create some more lines, only because I can, and I'm just using squidging that around because really basically I've run out and so I'll just put that on there because I love that colour it's like a menopausal mauve 
and I'm going to come in with another oil pastel. It's not my favourite, but it is quite bold. So these are the sort of things you can get as you as you love on this. You can just get a collection. So this is a blue, and I'm just going to come in with a bit of that. I have no idea where up here, and create some more trees by creating the darks. So the trees will pop out, and then if it gets too precious and everything, I'll just go like that. So it's all about being loose, making it interesting. You can't stuff it up. You can't stuff it up because then you can just fix it again. So I'm just putting some, and if you just do it lightly, you can see all the lovely layers underneath because that's what it's all about, trying to have as many elements as you can underneath. So I'm just going to put that there. It doesn't matter if you stuff it up, really and really and really. Uh, because you can come back in with paint, you can come in with um, stick and ink, you can come in with just ink, all these things, but it's just a matter of making a mark on there and you just don't want to then think, love that, I'm going to put it everywhere. Make it interesting, take it along, but maybe think, oh, okay, now well, I've got this here, that looks nice. I might create the horizon line by, by taking it across at the top or I might just put, a line over here look at that and take the eye across never ever stop it at a tree like a line just take it across because you're it's all about tricking the eye and there's rights and wrong so while I say you can't stuff it up you can still get it wrong and you're thinking why the hell doesn't that work and it's because of just the fundamental do's and do nots Right, and that's one of them. Don't stop at a line, just take it over. So we've got some shapes happening there. I quite like this line now, look, doesn't it? Great, okay. And come back in later if I want to put more and put a, maybe horizon bringing this color in, but that just gives you an idea. So we have st started neutral, but see how it's building up? Okay, now see here, I've put the blues in down here where the, sh the water. Now you can come in over the top and do a yellow and scratch back in and see here I've scratched back in over uh, the paint and but I'm going to do the shapes of these rocks just in here like that. Just create some more line. So this is just where a matter of practicing but just don't say oh I love this has taken me years to get right and even then I stuff it up. I've actually thrown away that a few that you wouldn't know that I've had. And so it's just a matter of looking at different line, a reason to make a line, the reason to create a shape, and a shadows are great for that. And think about the light source and where it's going. I'm going to take that line there for no reason, right down here. I do like this squiggly line a bit. And see how it's bringing it around now. So I'm going to keep this up quite loose and I might keep this area quite tight and then it'll build up. But what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put in some uh, ink and that will be the shellac um, brownie colour ink. And that will come in at the bottom and that will resist. So I'll do that as um, David wants to put the TV back on and then you can't hear me, which is probably a bonus. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do a bit more of this. I'll put some ink on and you can watch that in the, sh in the replay. Or whatever it is, slow mo. No, fast mo. Oh, whatever it is, time lapse. That's it. Okay. So I've done a bit more blue, and now I have just with the this is a sepia ink calligraphy but I, I do like the shellac inks but they're quite hard to get but this is a um, calligraphy I don't I think it's waterproof but not water it's water irresistant but I don't think it's that fantastic but it gives a lovely brown and then what happens is when you come in over here over the uh, raw pa um, oil pastel see how it's resisting so I'll bring it up closer see how that's resisting that's beautiful so again, don't put it everywhere. And so this to me is half finished, but that's because I keep working on it and I bring in, I keep 
working until I'm really happy with it. So it'll keep going and going and then finally I'll be happy with it. But it's a good base for me and um, I might block out some areas and or I really like the whole process of actually drawing, sitting at the table, drawing. It is like a jigsaw puzzle, getting the lights and darks, drawing. And if I get it too busy and too fussy, I just get a piece of brown paper or a white paper and just mask that area with uh, and glue it on and then I can come back and put it on. It's fine. You, you, there's no... There's no rights or wrongs. So if you're thinking, oh, that bit, I've overdone it. I've got too much charcoal. I can't fix it. It's not, I don't know what am I going to do. Tear a piece of white paper, cartridge paper. Put it on top. Don't cut it. Tear it. Put it on top and then draw on it a bit more and don't overdo it. Because it's, if it's too fussy, it looks too overworked. You want variety. See how here we've got the elements. We've got wash. Oil pastel, um, car uh, charcoal, and resist. So in that area there, about five different elements, right? And, over, and as we work here, the same, but it's not all the same. We've got the oil pastel, we've got the paint, we've got the wash, we've got the oil pastel, charcoal. We've got everything happening, but it's not too much everything everywhere. So here we've got the riverbed. There's the lights and darks and think it's lighter where the light's coming from. This will create a shadow. Where are the reflections? Where is the light source? And just think, well, the t it's lighter at the top of the rocks, darker at the bottom. This is the shadow. This is on what's at the front, what's at the back. And push and pull all the time. You put the background in, then the background comes first, and then you put the foreground. But then you think, oh, no, it's boring. I'll take a tree right down the middle. So really, there's no rights, no wrongs. It's just a matter of playing with the materials, working out what you, what you like, what you love to do. Um, I have my favourites, and then other people have theirs, in which case and you find that when you put paint on over the um, ink over the top of the paint, it resists lovely, and it's got lovely grooves. So really, it is a matter of you just finding your own voice with the different materials to actually have happiness and play on your kitchen table and just keep working. Don't keep belabouring a painting. Put it aside, do another one. Put it aside, do another one. And what you're building up is a is a, um, a reference of all the different materials that we're playing with and what you like and what you don't like. Don't paint to think, oh, I can sell that. Oh, don't paint to say, that has to be a masterpiece. No, we are doing exercises to practice with the materials and to see what can what what turns me on, what gets me excited, what do I like, that doesn't work, that looks great, that looks terrible, that looks like crap, oh shit, I wish I shouldn't have done that, all of the above. And then you will create your own voice, your own mark, your own style.